Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis Rana from Filipino Martial Arts School and today's another episode of Bayani Talk. FMAschool.com Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis from Philippine Martial Arts School. Today's another episode of Bayani Talk. I'm actually here in downtown Los Angeles um, off of Hope Street. And just because my mom had an appointment down here, so I took her. But in between that, I'm just kind of chilling here. So today I'd like to talk about people who are just like keyboard warriors. So recently I posted something about how I'm just so damn sick and tired of keyboard warriors. Well, it's actually in this particular case, I was asked to join a group chat. Actually, I wasn't even asked. I was forced to group during a group chat and this one guy said that he knew me and but I've never met him before now you know it happens like people think that they know me and then I never really met them before a day in my life but you know I just I, I try to be polite about it I'm sorry I never met you before where have we met before and all of a sudden he started getting really belligerent at me and I'm like you know what now I could have responded in the in that public setting which was that's what it was it was still a public setting even though it was on Facebook Messenger but it was a group of people um, and then so I contacted the administrator of that of that group chat and I told him why did you add me in a group where I'm just going to be antagonized and it was for a Filipino American uh, group here in, in Los Angeles in Southern California and I was kind of like broken hearted about it because it's like you know this is one of the reasons why Filipino groups don't grow because there's so much bickering and so much so much anger in it so it's just like Filipinos just definitely just sabotage our own selves unfortunately but in this case, the the organizer apologized, and I accepted his apology, even though I, I never blamed him. But I did ask, I, I did ask the wisdom of asking of, of forcing me to join a group chat when I'm not even part of the group. The other person then said to him that he apologized. I mean that he you know he wanted to um, uh, wanted to explain what had happened, and he wanted me to call him. So I called him, and the guy just started giving me excuses excuses of like oh because my Facebook got hacked before you know what it's one thing to have like you know you, you made a mistake but then if you made a mistake man up own up to it accept it and say sorry but this guy started to give me reasons why he what he acted that way there's no excuse to being rude on a public setting in a public forum and there's absolutely no reason now if you made a mistake man up own up to it now being a real man in my opinion is that it's not that you don't make mistakes is that when you make a mistake you take you you take responsibility for that mistake and you accept it and apologize and do everything in your power not to do it again but not this gentleman this gentleman wanted me to understand him like make sure that i understood where he was coming from it was all about him 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 but it's got nothing to do with him i don't really care about him what he needed to do he wanted me to call him so he can explain what he wanted to do was for me to uh, to forgive him without him even asking to, to say sorry. So that's what I was really angry about. I'm just sick and tired of these keyboard warriors. So when he started saying, when he started attacking me in the public forum, I told him like, you know, if you want to say something, say it to my face, not in Facebook. And this is a policy that I believe in, guys. If I can't say it to your face, I'm not going to say it on Facebook. So if I post something there that may be, you know, condescending or maybe kind of rude to you, it's because I would tell you to your face. Okay, now, if I'm wrong, I'll apologize, own up to it like a man, and accept it. But don't don't try to give me excuses. That's the one thing I really hate is people trying to give me excuses instead of just owning up to it. He messed up. He said he he said that he thought that his Facebook got hacked. Whatever, dude. I, I've heard that story a long time ago, all right? The bottom line is you made a mistake. It's your account. It's your job to keep it secure. Man, just own up to it. So that's that's my thought. Do you guys agree? Do you believe that if you if you mess up, you should apologize? Comment down below. Because that is definitely what I teach my students. If you screw up, accept it, apologize, and move, and then learn not to, and learn from it by not doing it again, by doing everything in your power to make sure that doesn't happen again. So I don't know. Do you guys agree? Comment down below. And if you're looking for a school that enforces that type of philosophy, go visit us at www.fmaschool.com. Until then, my name is Ewer Francis from Filipino Martial Arts School. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.